And I support myself because that's what I like to do. One hand behind supporting, one hand in front. And what I'm doing is lengthening through the front and lengthening through, there we go, the back. You see, I'm feeling the weight of the head that I was working with just now. And I should, there we go. You see, you should have seen that lengthen more that way through the front. And then every so often I can lengthen through the back. Okay, because you've got access to both. Are you, is the action this? Yes, it is. It is a little bit of everything we've been doing so far. So I'm not denying that I'm thinking of bringing my hands together. Mm -hmm. But if you remember that horrible woman, Rachel, <laughs> <laughs> that when a person can hover in a backbend like that, there is a lot of strength behind, but it's also a, a big sense of relaxation on the front. So that's what we're trying to get, is some support in the, in the back, and we keep working, and then we can lengthen them down and lengthen them up and, length, and just keep that. So it's kind of like, you know, toothpaste, except very gently, but if you draw them together, and you're just trying to put, what you're really trying to do is, 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 is persuade them so that it's, um, I remember once we were watching a, a show and it was um, Fiddler on the Roof, and this girl came on and she was the youngest cast member. And it was obvious she was so frightened. <laughs> she had such state fright. And she just started on the few lines she had to say. And everybody was willing her <laughs> to get through this. Come on, you can do this. You can, really, you can. And she got such a floor. She was shaking like this. But she got all the lines <laughs> out. And it was the way we were willing her just to keep going. You can do this. You can do this. You're nearly there. Wow. And that's all you're trying to do. <laughs> you're just trying to put in. So you're not trying to do the pose for them. You're trying to give them the encouragement. In, in, and it's just that combination of things we've done. Okay? So Ushtrasana, which is the most basic background we've got. But really try and feel that you've got access to both ends of the posture. And you're just feeling what's happening. And you put your hand in. I mean, it is, you, you know, you want to feel you can put something in. But you could spread it. Like... Know, toast and butter. Oh, uh, yes. Question. So your, your, the hand that's on the sacrum is moving in and also slightly down, like towards the... No, like it's mostly, down? it's mostly that if it goes in, uh -huh. it does the job of separating the others. Okay. Follow? Uh -huh. If it comes in, those two will lengthen. Okay. Um, because what it is, is that, can I, thank you. Muscles... Muscles give their force. A muscle has got its longest length and its shortest length. Follow? And that's called an excursion, excuse me, an excursion ratio. Well, I may as well use that whole thing. If that's its longest length and it's got its shortest length, it gives you its energy when it does this. So muscles deliver their power when they are busy contracting. So when I'm doing a down curl like this, I'm persuading these muscle fibers to give me their energy in a consistently extending situation. And muscles do not really enjoy delivering you so much force when they're extending. They prefer it when they're contracting. But it's a little paradoxical because a muscle is made up of thousands of fibers which take it in turns to contract. So each individual fiber is always only giving you energy when it's contracting. It's just that every time you come back to it, it's in a situation in which it has lengthened. But they're not stupid and they know this. So if they can find another muscle that's in a contracting situation, it'll get those to do it. And we are trying, when we do a deliberate down curl like this, we are busy developing this bicep, and we're giving it this situation in which it's forced to deliver energy on extension. Now, the difficulty with the back bend is that we have got 
support from here, and we are delivering energy on extension here. And why people find it difficult to go back is this can contract, and they don't want to do anything here. So what we're doing is providing some support here, just like this, that is providing support so we can do this work. So your hand here is like a dumbbell, giving this the support it needs and saying to this, you need to learn to deliver energy on extension. So in the same way that without the dumbbell, you couldn't really do this work here, because it's not the same. But when you got the weight, you could really focus on that muscle. So what you're doing with the hand is being the weight that is allowing this to remain really steady, and then you're trying to make this do some work on extension, which it does not like doing. Okay? Shava, um, Shavasana. <laughs> <laughs>